The following month starting 8-bit foolhardy flick is for mature as well as immature audiences as well. Viewer discretions have been advised. The following footage takes place approximately 24 hours after this week's Music Village. Ah oh, man, Maestro, I completely forgot during all the excitement for that week's episode of Music Village, we forgot to mention the birthdays we were going to give a shout out to. So, to a very special happy birthday to my Uncle Diddy, my cousin Jerry, and especially to a big wrestling fan that goes by the name of the bad guy JX Harris. Happy birthday to each and every last one of you, and many more down the road. And speaking of wrestling, this weekend is WrestleMania. And you know, we've done some incredible things over the past six years, reviewing well over seven WrestleManias, maybe even more. And Maestro, I got a crazy idea. How does this sound? For the first time ever in the history of the Indie Radio Arcade, we review... The showcase of the immortals, the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. <laughs> that'll never work. Yeah, you're right, that'll never work. You know what? Scrap that idea. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and review the first half of WrestleMania for the Indie Radio Arcade. Who in the world will watch that? <laughs> Wait a minute. That doesn't sound like a half bad idea after all. Yeah. A WrestleMania Arcade edition of the Indie Radio Arcade. I can see it in lights right now. Pyrotechnics. Fire. Um, you know, laser lights like they would have. You know, Stephanie McMahon or somebody coming out and saying, Welcome to the Indie Cade Mania. Yeah, I can even pull off a Macho Man Randy Savage voice for it. Welcome to Indie Mania. Oh, yeah. All right, Maestro. I'm in the mood to do it. Let's do this. All right. Switch the feed. I'm going to go find me a championship belt so I can celebrate properly. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, live from Marstown, New Jersey, it is the level 102 edition of the Andy Radio! And now here's your host, a man who has a WrestleMania size show with only an eighth of a WrestleMania budget, DJ Smokey. Hey, we would have had the budget if it hadn't been for that dancing disco clown. But besides that, folks, welcome to the Indy Ray Arcade Level 102 Edition. I am your game show host from the East Coast, DJ Smokey, and we've got plenty of that 8-bit goodness with a little spice of wrestling in there as well that tried to do what we're trying to accomplish as the announcer announced in the beginning of the show. Because we kick off this show with a very special first time ever pay-per-view review edition of WrestleMania Day 1 from the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Yeah, with some good matches too. Also besides that, we go back into the film reel once again for a very special Cajun water serving football edition of the 3MR. And as a small hint, the Fonz is in this movie. Yeah. Also, besides that, we go ahead and check out a very special People's Wrestling Game Sequel Edition of the Instant Classic Video Game Review. And as a small hint, there is a People's Eyebrow in this one, too. Next up on the plate, we put your games on high display along with some high scores along the way 
for another edition of the Indie Wall of Fame. And finally, last but not least, we wrap up this show with yet another crazy edition of the $64,000 question. And as a small hint, it does not involve wrestling, but it involves Easter Bunny. If you think we can turn that into something crazy, you haven't been watching this show for long, haven't you? And I guess with the maestro rolling in the machines, I might as well tell everybody at home to get out their pennies, quarters, nickels, dimes, Albanian money, or whatever sort of coins you would use during a WrestleMania event that themed after pirates to get ready to play a very special 8-bit wrestling edition of... It's time to play the game, kids.